guys, welcome back to my channel. So, you're probably thinking what is going on here, but as you can tell by the title, today I decided to do a full face of makeup challenge video, and this time only using eyeshadows and I didn't want to just kind of create an everyday look I did kind of want to have some fun with it and not like mock it but just like test out colors and see what they would look like in an extreme scenario like this one so yeah went for kind of bright colors today as you can see and a really nice blended nude lip yeah basically just wanted to see what it was like have a little bit of fun and just see where the video took me so if you guys want to watch me create this obviously gorgeous makeup look using only eyeshadows then please keep watching okay so oh so for found we're gonna start with skin first so for foundation i don't really know what colors to pick so I've gone with these two. So this one's quite light and then this one's going to add a bit of warmth. I'm going to mainly dip into this one. This is Makeup Geek Beaches and Cream. And then this one is Anastasia Beverly Hills Party Dress. I'm just going to swirl. <laughs> oh my god. I suppose it's just going to act like powder foundation, isn't it? Swirl a buffing brush into them both. Oh god, maybe not party dress. Into them both. I think we're just gonna stick with beaches and cream. Hmm. Really giving me that maximum coverage that I love. To be fair, not too bad. <laughs> Colour wise, anyways. Realistically, I don't really think I'm gonna get much more coverage out of that. Okay, for concealer, I'm gonna take vanilla bean from Makeup Geek. Highlight underneath the eyes. <laughs> Quite good highlight. Really trying to brighten up and like build up a coverage but it's not really working. Down the bridge of our nose. There we go. Now, because we're literally using powders, we don't have to set anything with powder. So we can go straight on to bronzer. What do I want to use for bronzer? Oh my gosh. I think I'm actually, I'm going to use that party dress Anastasia Beverly Hills shadow because that was definitely too dark earlier for my face. So hopefully it'll make a good bronzer. Oh. Oh gosh. Maybe slightly too warm for me. To be fair, with pigmented eyeshadows, a little goes such a long way. Because so you barely need any of it. Whereas with some face products, you I feel like you need to like build it up. Lovely. For blusher, I'm gonna take this shade here from the Lime Crime Venus palette. It's like a shimmery rose gold colour. It's called Rebirth. Gosh. What I thought like I looked like an absolute. Actually, it's just quite a nice blusher colour. Right, on to highlight. Now, this one's kind of an easy one because you can just pick like shimmery shadows that you would normally wear on your lid. So I am going to use Magic Act from Makeup Geek, which is one of their foiled eyeshadows. Yes. Oh my god. I might start using this more often. Oh my god, like actually. Look at that. Realistically, could have used the like Kiko 208 eyeshadow. Like I totally forgot about it, but oh my god, I'm glad I didn't because I think I've just found my new favourite highlighter. So I suppose that is skin done so realistically if you have quite oily skin this is probably right up your street it's like almost using powder highlighters powder highlighters powder like foundations and stuff right eyebrows this shouldn't be too hard considering a lot of people actually do use eyeshadows anyway i am going to use i don't really have 
have just like an eyebrow colour. My eyebrows, I'm going to take the colour Fawn from Anastasia Beverly Hills. To be fair, I've only really just got back into using like powders for my eyebrows. Like I always was like religiously using a pencil and my dip brow. Oh, realistically, that's too warm, isn't it? God. I'm going to take Mocha from Makeup Geek. Slightly darker brown because my eyebrows are super sparse at the moment. So they need a bit more pigment. But realistically, you do use a lot of powder products on your face anyway that eyeshadows can replace. I'm just excited to see how my lips will turn out. That'll be fun, won't it? Yeah. Gosh. God, they look so, like, orangey. Ugh. Right, now onto, like, actual eyeshadow. This should be relatively straightforward. I'm just going to set my eyelids with that beaches and cream colour that we used on the skin just to kind of give some sort of base. I feel like doing something really colourful. Okay. Okay, so for eyeshadow, we're gonna take Burnt Orange from Anastasia Beverly Hills. You can buy this as a single or I'm just using it from the Modern Renaissance palette. I'm just gonna buff that into the crease. Oh gosh. Why is that? See, when you don't have a proper eye base, look how much fallout you get. Oh god, fallout you get. Now taking this NYX palette, this is the NYX Ultimate Brights palette, we're going to go in with this bright colour here and just use that to deepen up and warm up the socket and just go back in and build up as much colour and pigmentation as you want. For lid colour, I'm taking this gold eyeshadow here, and this is from Coastal Scents, and it's called Bahama Mama. And we're just gonna pack this on. Quite a nice orangey gold, so I thought would tie in nicely with the orange crease. I'm seriously struggling with fallout today. I don't know if it's because when you haven't got any like liquids in your face, there's nothing for it to cling to. From that same NYX palette, I'm just going to go in with this colour here, just to further deepen and warm it up the socket, sticking with that like warm theme. This is just going to kind of diffuse and blend everything out as well. I'm just going to take this turquoise colour and pop that in my inner corner, just because this video is already different for me, so let's add some colour. Sweet Jesus, mother of fallout, get it off. God, why is it halfway down my face? See, oh my God, but that just took it all away. Oh. Now going back in with this bright orange color here, we're gonna run that along the lower lash line. Lan, Lan. Oh my God, I've never Are seen, sure? what, I'm filming. Now, you can't really avoid mascara, so I'm not going to wear lashes because that's just another thing that's not eyeshadow, so I'm just going to apply a coat of mascara. So these are the finished eyes, something quick, colourful. Now onto the lips, I don't really know what to do. I've got such colourful, such bright colours in front of me. Maybe I'll go all out and do... <laughs> purple. So from the Anastasia Beverly Hills Modern Renaissance palette, I am going to take Love Letter as my lip liner. <laughs> Let's go for a purple ombre. Oh my God. Now I'm gonna go in with this purple color here from the same NYX palette. And I'm just gonna build up like an ombre effect. Oh my god. Yeah. Oh, 
gosh. Wow, why do I look so odd? I'm gonna take that pink and place it in the center to give myself a bit of highlight. Actually, let's go in with a bit of shimmer for the highlight. This is Starry Eyed Foiled Eyeshadow from Makeup Geek. Oh my God, I feel like we finished. So this is the <laughs> finished makeup look. You could actually probably, if you really put your mind to it and didn't kind of like take the piss like I was, probably create something quite nice, a nicer lip colour or a nicer eye. But since it's a challenge, I just thought I would... Oh my god, lips are really paying me off. I thought I would just have some fun, kind of take the piss a bit and yeah. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. And if you want to see any more full face challenge videos, if you guys do this full face challenge video or just do a picture, make sure to tag me and show me. Make sure to share this video with a friend and subscribe if you haven't already. But yeah, thank you so much for watching and until next time, I'll see you soon. Bye guys.